I'm Robin Clevett, welcome to my channel. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the videos here on the channel. And if you're a subscriber, thank you very much for subscribing and getting the notifications for all the videos that we produce. I also would like to thank everyone has you, who has used Super Thanks, which basically means you can send a small contribution towards the upkeep of my channel to make sure I can keep producing content for free. We are at the point of the big build where we're preparing for second fix. Now, what does that mean? That means that we have got all of the plastering done. The plasterers have literally finished the last couple of walls. We're gonna be starting to put round skirtings, architraves. We're gonna be hanging doors. We're gonna be putting locks and latches in all the sort of normal stuff. So second fix basically means everything after the plasterer. We'll also be doing some decorating work so we've got the decorators uh, inside now. They've done loads of preparation and they've given us a couple of coats of the final coats sprayed on everywhere. So when we put our MDF skirtings and architraves on, all they have to come back and do is cork them, prepare them, fill and like, the little pinholes and paint them in situ. So it's a really nice way of doing things because they can cover a lot of area when they're spraying. Anyway, let's take a look inside. I know you're dying to see it and see what we're doing. So it's all a bit bright now, what with the um, preparation of the walls. So these have all been mist coated. They've had some rubbing down, sort of done to them as well. And then we'll spray these. The electricians are in here at the moment. They're just cutting the lights out. We like to do them before the final coats because if you make any errors, you've got to make it good. The last thing you want is to spray the ceilings, then cut the holes. You get finger marks all over them and things can generally go bad. So the plasterers literally have just finished. They've done a lovely job here. It's all beautifully smooth. Now these old walls were all over the place and so they've managed to get them back to a really respectable uh, finish. I'm really happy with that. So this is the old lounge. It was much, much sort of um, more compact because we've raised the ceilings in the whole dwelling so it's much better now. The staircase is under wraps as you can see. It's all protected. We're gonna be building underneath the spandrel here, filling it all in, door on the end. The reason why that isn't done now is to let the plumber and the electrician get all of their last bits done while they're not scrambling around in a cupboard. So it's much nicer. Then we put our last newel on and get all of the balustrades in. So again, that's the second fix item. So coming upstairs, we've just got protection on the stairs at the moment because of the overspray. And the stairs you can see, incidentally, that are all protected. So they're all clad with a plywood. It's only a 3.6 millimeter thick ply. It's like a skin ply. And then it's just taped on the corners. And that basically keeps all these oak treads in good shape. Um, so we're coming upstairs. Here's the cylinder cupboard. We've just got a hanger door on here. We're gonna make a pair of doors for here. And we're possibly gonna be forming a little cupboard from the hall side. The reason we haven't done this particular piece of partitioning here is because we didn't know how much space we'd need to get all of our services in. So it looks like we could effectively afford that. So that'll be a, a towel cupboard on the other side. But what I'm also thinking is it's a really warm room is to make this slatted all the way. So the back and the side slatted. So you effectively see through. So from the hall, when you do put your towels in, they're going to get warm and they'll stay nice and you know, dry and all the rest of it. So this is the study part of the room. We've got all of our Cat 6s network cables all in this position. This is where we're going to have a desk in the future for the client. We're going to have some CCTV stuff, which is also going to be in this area. Some big cupboards here, which are going to encase the flue from the wood burner that goes all the way through. And then coming through into one of the bit master bedrooms, en suite. Now, so we will do, the first job we'll do when we second fix is go round and we'll use our hinge jig and we'll chop out all of the hinges. So we'll do all of that in one go. And between the client and us, we'll go round before then and we'll say, the door is opening this way. And if they say, yes, that's how we want it, 
then I'll mark HS exactly on the side where the hinges go. And that's basically what we do on all the doors. So that's always done with client approval because you might follow a drawing and put a door on as the drawing says. And when a client looks at it, it says, it doesn't suit our needs. We would have preferred it to open this way. And I think that it's important that you ask and check with your clients. So, so we do that, we'd put all of the hinges, chop them all into the linings first. That enables us to be able to then put our architraves around. That then frees up the skirting boards and then the decorator can carry on. So we've got oak doors here. We've got a pre-finished oak door. So what we'll do once we've done the sort of butts, chop the butts in the linings, put the skirtings and architraves around. It's, it's almost like a process. So the first thing, hinge jigs and doing all of the hinge cutouts. And that won't take very long at all. Then we can put our architraves around everywhere. Then we can put our skirtings around everywhere. That frees up the decorator to come back in and carry on whilst we're swinging doors. Now we know that there won't be much to take off these doors because we put all the linings in quite well. If you haven't seen the video, there's a link to the video somewhere. Let me think about this here. And um, so have a look at that. And so this is the other bedroom. This is again, is, is another quite a big bedroom with ensuite at the end. We're using these um, bathroom panels and they're really quite good. So it's um, a laminate on a really good quality ply with a backing sheet. So it stays really nice and rigid. You can see that one in there has had a shower done there. We'll also be doing this whole wall through here where we've got a concealed system and then we've got a vanity on this side and we've got a large heated towel rail there. We're just waiting for these floors to be laid. We've got an overlay electric uh, foil that goes down first, which is a tile warmer, if you like, or a floor warmer. Then we've got a Candine floor, which is the same as what we've put in the study area. And that will go over the top. And then we can put our panels in because we want them to come down just over the top there. So we can put a small silicon bead round afterwards. So, Second fixing, we're gonna get cracking on it. We've got lots to do. We're gonna be doing plenty of video of this. Skirtings, scribing, mitering, fixing, gluing. Architraves, again, mitering, shooting in where necessary. How best to go about it when you've got a lot to do. Um, how we glue them together like a picture frame first, and then we put them all up. So there's some nice content coming up, so keep tuned, and we'll see you all soon.